Mastoma really it is a serious problem. It affects the poor of the poor in poor remote communities. It affects young adults and children. The available treatment for mastoma is are limited. Many side effects. Some of them are very toxic, expensive, and not available in mastoma endemic areas. We are collaborating with DNDI, a Zai company in Japan, the first ever double-blind clinical trial for mastoma patients. Our dream and vision is to have world free of mastoma. There are two types of mycetoma, that is the bacterial and fungal type. The cure rate of the fungal mycetoma is only around 25 to 35% with the existing medicines, quite unacceptable at this day and age. In Sudan, many people do not receive appropriate treatment at the appropriate time, and this may result in amputation. Working with AZI, my Stoma Research Center, national NGOs, and other stakeholders, Air Japan would like to create a system that enables early consultation and treatment. When I met a patient in Sudan, I definitely wanted to change the current situation with a new drug. Although tackling my setoma is a difficult task for one company, we can tackle it by forming a partnership. I hope that the new drug is developed successfully and reach patients as soon as possible. <laughs>